Hey there, and welcome back to our kitchen. I'm Jenny, this is Lauren, and we're two of Festival's Mealtime Mentors. Today we are baking up some wings in one of my favorite flavor combinations. Yes, today we are making salt and vinegar wings. So fun. <laughs> yes, and really delicious. Yes. Okay, so we're going to get started on the star of this, the wings. And we just have some chicken wings that we've split into like the flats and the drummies. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pat these dry with some Viva paper towel. And the reason that we want them really nice and dry is because we want everything that we're adding, all of our seasonings and sauces, um, to stick really well to our wings. It'd be so sad if it didn't have any of that great flavor on it. Yes, yep. So our next step while Jenny is just patting all of our wings dry, we're going to be adding just a couple ingredients to start. Um, we're going to add some olive oil and then salt and pepper. Wait for you to get these in here. All right, so I'm just going to use a tongs here and toss it all together again so that everything is evenly coated. We have salt and pepper and then olive oil sticking well to all of our wings. And then we are just going to transfer them. We have a baking sheet here um, that we've lined with foil and then we have a wire rack on top. So we're just going to get all of our wings on here. So the wire rack helps that air circulate around the wings when they're baking so that they get nice and brown on all sides. If you don't have a wire rack, that's okay. Just simply flip the wings about halfway through baking and you'll get that nice brown all the way around. Yes, we want them nice and crispy. Yes. So this wing recipe is a really good like base recipe. So right now, if you just bake them, you can really just dress them however you'd like, but we're doing a salt and vinegar finishing sauce. Yes, but I love that, that it's really versatile. You can customize it based on your preferences. All right, so these are going to go right in our oven. So they're going to bake at 400 degrees for about 35 to 40 minutes or until they get nice and golden brown and crispy. We've pulled the wings out of the oven. They are beautiful and Looks golden. So, good. so I'm going to go ahead and transfer them into our bowl because we're going, to, we're going to toss them in our vinegar finishing sauce. Yes, and I'm going to work on our vinegar finishing sauce. Super, super simple. We have apple cider vinegar. These are all probably things you have at home. We've got a little bit of garlic powder, cayenne, and salt. We're going to give it a whisk. And that's like, it. Yeah. Really, really simple. Yeah, I really like the apple cider vinegar in this sauce because it's not like too vinegary. There's a little bit of sweetness. Yes, so really and just good. good flavor too. A little bit of heat from that cayenne. Yes. All right. Yum. So we're just going to give this a toss. Get them nice and coated mm. and then we'll get them back onto our rack. Yes, and as Jenny mentioned earlier, if you're like, oh, I'm not a really big fan of vinegar, this recipe is a really good just kind of base recipe where mm -hmm. you could at this point be tossing it in barbecue sauce or any of your other favorite sauces. Exactly. Oh, it smells so good. Yes, so we're getting these back on our pan here. They're going to go back in the oven just for a minute. Um, we just need to broil them on high. Kind of just kind of bake that vinegar mm -hmm. right into our wings. Get them nice and crispy again too. Yes. So Almost so there's easy. so many of them. All right. Okay. Now stick these in the oven. All right. And we're going to save this finishing sauce because it's great for dipping your finished wings in. And since we used um, the finishing sauce with cooked chicken, we don't need to worry about any cross contamination. Yes. The wings have been under the broiler for a couple minutes and they are beautiful and ready to eat. Oh my goodness. Yes, they smell so good. And they're nice and crispy again, which is perfect. So the last step is to get this onto your serving platter and garnish it. We're just gonna garnish it with a little bit of parsley for some green. Nice. And then when you're serving, you can serve it with your favorite dipping sauce, whether that's ranch or blue cheese. Which one do you like? I am team blue cheese. Same. Or more of that vinegar finishing sauce. Which I is would also be team so that. Good. Yes, <laughs> totally. All right, let's give these a try. So do you like drummies or flats? I like the drummies better. Same. Give it a little 
little dip. All right, let's get some sauce on here. Mmm, give us a try. Mmm. The vinegar tang is so good. I love it mixed with the creaminess of the blue cheese. Mm -hmm. Absolutely delicious. Super, super good. Well, we hope you skip the deep fryer and try these baked wings instead. And to get this recipe on your phone, text WING to 78402. And for more recipes and resources from your mealtime mentors, visit bestfoods.com.